Hello everyone, it's Mark and welcome back. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the changes to Florida's Baker Act, Chapter 394 for 2022. And specifically in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the changes with regards to the way that minors are being treated when it comes to being Baker Acted. So here in Florida, we've seen an absolute epidemic uh, of children, sometimes as young as five, being placed in handcuffs and taken to receive facilities. And the problems that we see here in our office are when either the children are, frankly, just you know not treated appropriately, they're being handcuffed, I mean, they're being made to take the pulp walk, treated as if they're criminals, okay, that we're seeing a lot of that. And also we're seeing where parents aren't being notified, sometimes at all or until after the fact, and now there's nothing they can do. So the changes and, our, and the statutes that really are relevant here, and you're welcome to look this up yourself, are... Uh, 381.0056 and 1014.03. Those are the sections uh, uh, of, of, of the Florida law here that I think you should take a look at. Specifically, section 19 of 381.0056 talks about the fact that before the child's removed from the school, that uh, there has to be, quote, a reasonable attempt to notify, right? A reasonable attempt to notify. And that means the exercise of reasonable diligence and care by the principal or the principal's designee to make contact with a student's parent, guardian, or other known emergency contact. So the school is supposed to make a reasonable attempt to notify you. You shouldn't be finding out after the fact and when your child is already at a receiving facility because it's totally inappropriate. And apparently the, the Florida legislator agreed. So that is the first big change that I see here. And 1014.03 has to do with you know uh, your rights as a parent right and, and and how you should be treated um so that's sort of the first major change the second major change that i saw was that it now gives law enforcement the discretion as to whether or not to handcuff a minor child uh and you know obviously unless that you know anyone's becoming violent with the police you know if they're a minor i don't see any reason why they should be handcuffed i mean you know talk about a, you know traumatizing a child i mean what could be worse than you know being handcuffed walked out of school in front of you know all of your fellow students and placed in the back of a police car. I can't imagine anything worse for a child. But apparently now the legislator has given law enforcement the discretion to, to do that. Now, look, I totally understand, you know, when I was prosecutor, it was, you know, a standard operating procedure for, for law enforcement to handcuff somebody. And I get it. We want our men and women in blue to be safe. No doubt about it, okay? And this is not a political discussion. This is just, you know, as a former prosecutor and having two retired law enforcement officers on my staff here, you know, we want to make sure these folks are safe. They got a family to go home to, too, at the end of the day. So we want them to be safe. But we also have to sort of measure that against, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the rights and, frankly, the, the emotional condition and the trauma it imposes on upon, you know, a five-year-old, a 10-year-old, whatever it is, a minor child. And so those are the two big changes I see for the Baker Act. Um, but, uh, you know, as I've said in other videos, there's, there's no monitoring going on here when it comes to these receiving facilities. And if your loved one, whether it's a child or an adult, is taken to one of these, if you want to get them out, unless the facility is going to see the light of day and let them go, then we need to fight. We need to fight quickly because once the facility goes to court and gets a court order, it's pretty much game over. Not impossible, but very, very difficult and certainly a, a whole lot more expensive and a, a longer, you know, in terms of time procedure to get your loved ones secured. So anyway, with that said, uh, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.